Hey guys, so Fruity Slicer 2 just came out in a new beta version of FL Studio. And I've been playing around with this for a bit and I just thought I should do a quick video on this and show you guys how it works. So this is the original Fruity Slicer and this is a big UI update and feature update as well. And they kept the simplicity. It's not as feature packed as SliceX, but it still gets the job done and it's easy to use. So let's get right to this. I'll drag this in. And by default, this slices this into many slices. And if you click this button here, let's increase the scaling of this. I think that's perfect. Let's increase it a little bit. Great. So if you click this arrow here, you can see the amount of slices. And this did like 56 slices. So I'm just going to come over here and change this to doll. So this is good. So if you click on any of these buttons here, it's going to play the slice. And you can also trigger from your keyboard. I'm trying to find the root notes. So it's triggering from a very low octave. I have to bring my MIDI keyboard very low and I'm just going to mess around with this and you can follow along. I've not looked into all the features in detail, so I'll be discovering a lot of what this does for the first time as well. So that changes the time stretch mode. So I think... Uh, this works with the slices. So this is for every individual slice has their own controls here. So I can change the pitch of this. And that changes the speed. But I think if I change the time stretch mode, so this one keeps the speed. That's nice. So this time stretch is universal for all slices. It's a global option. And I believe this is a global option as well. So you can set filters. And Okay, so you can set individual filters for each slice and also have a global filter. So I'm just going to turn off the global filter and the third slice here has its own filter. So I can set the slice for this one as well. This is a cool animation. Let's set this to low pass. Okay, great. So you have gain, pan, attack, release, and pitch options that's transpose and detune for each slice. And you also have filters for each slice. So you can set global filters and set this to the individual slice filters as well. So I think this is the general uh 
tone, sorry, pitch settings for the whole, for all the slices. I can click on the uh, wave display itself to play the slice. That's nice. So you can play these slices as chords as well. So you can play two slices at the same time. And you can set this to monophonic as well, so you'll be able to play the slices together. That's let's sound that off. Then this is chromatic. Oh, so this what this does is you pick a slice like this and turn this on, then it sets that slide to use like to be chromatic so you can only play that slice and you can play all the notes on your keyboard for that slice so that's let's turn that off and let's take a look at some of the other options so we can reverse slices. That's interesting. That's interesting. So yeah, you have some other options for the playback and yeah, that's pretty much most of the options you have. You still have the same slicing options like you did in Freeze the Slicer. You can open up the slice in Edison and edit that. Can also dump in piano roll. So let's try to make something interesting. So can I create extra slices? Like add my own slice marker. I don't think so. I don't think I could do that in Fruity Slicer as well. I think just Slice X to create manual slices where you can move this around. Let's see. No slicing. And you can create. Let's delete this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So it still keeps the slice settings. That was interesting. That was weird. Why is this playing that slice? Hmm. That's interesting. So you can zoom you have some zoom options i didn't even notice there was a scroll bar here then you have a spectrum view as well Okay, so let's do some quick. I'll turn this off. So yeah, let's make something quick. My piano roll screen is in the other screen. So I'm just gonna drag it in here. Yeah. Do not know why that's not triggering. So the funny thing is this starts from C0 by default.
by channel let's get rid of this Yeah, so that's how to use Fruity Slicer 2. That was a fast overview. I'm going to do a deep dive into this personally, go through the manual and see what other thing is interesting here. I knew there was going to be a sampler update. I thought it was going to be Slice X, but this looks very promising and I hope they add more features to this. I really like the workflow. It's something I'm going to be using and yeah check it out download the beta check this out if you want to learn how to sample and learn more about the samplers in fl studio slicer slice x i have a playlist for that i'll leave that in the uh description and comments below i go through everything uh make beats with sampling show you how to do a lot of things so make sure you check that out yeah that's the new fruity slicer too let me know what you think I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.